Hi, my name's Todd Stilwell, and today I want to show you how I create my contact templates in Reaper. First, we need to load contact by right-clicking on the TCP. And I'm going to select the 64 out. That's the one I set up in my video on how to add outputs in contact. As you can see, Reaper loads all 32 outputs, so we need to select the last eight and delete them. So now we have the 24 outputs that I wanted, but I don't particularly uh, care for the way they're named. So here's a quick way to rename the outputs. Open the action list and find the SWS action Auto Rename Selected Takes. As you can see, I've got a tied decay. So now we need to select the 24 outputs and run the uh, rename action. I'm just going to use out. That way they'll turn out as out 1 through 24. And be sure and check the auto rename. As you can see, they quickly end up out 1 through 24. So now we're ready to create our contact templates. First, we need to select all the tracks. And I use the key switch G for saving templates. So I'll press that, and that brings up the track template folder. Now, since I've got 24 tracks selected, I'm going to name this uh, K5 underscore and 24 by 24 in brackets. That tells me I've got 24 outputs available, and this template has 24. Now I'll go back and select 16 outputs this time. Press G, and this time I save it as uh, 24 by 16. 24 available, and 16 will be loaded. Now I'll select 12 and do the same thing. This time I'll select 8, and uh, I'm going to pad it with a 0 to keep it in order. And now the final template with 4. Well, that's it. I'm done with this stage, but I'll be making more templates, the first of which will be with an added MIDI track that's routed to contact. 